250.52, types of grounding electrodes. So using the metal frame of a building as a grounding electrode is more difficult now, and swimming pool rebar is no longer allowed to be used as a grounding electrode, uh, if it ever was allowed, that's debatable. Okay, 250.50, the grounding electrode system. This is one of the most misunderstood requirements in the entire code. And that's kind of surprising because it, it's actually a really simple rule. All electrodes that are described in 250.52A1 through A7 that are present at a building or structure have to be connected together to create a grounding electrode system. If none of these electrodes exist, then one or more of the electrodes in A4 through A8 must be installed. Okay, you're going to use 250.52 A1 through A7 like a checklist, all right? You're going to look at item 1. Is this present? Yes or no? If it is, then you have to connect your build you have to connect your system to it. Item 2, is this present? Yes or no? If it is, then you connect to it. If it's not, well then it's not. Same thing with A3 and A4. Right? Just go down through all of them and ask yourself, is this existent at this building? Is it present? If it is, you have to use it and you have to tie them all together. Music